You want to set up and work on the bike. You set, set. You want to help Daddy go work on the bike? Shake a leg. Shake a leg. <laughs> you want to go down work on the bike? Okay. Hey. Shh. This is Spencer, everybody. This is my best friend. He's my doggy. You want to go downstairs and work on the bike? You want to go downstairs and work on the bike, huh? All right, come on, let's go. So, hey guys, it's me again, um, doing a fourth video on this. Uh, this is my swing arm, right here, the bandit that's going on there. I had the guy uh, weld some eyelets on here. I am doing a mock-up on this to see if this is going to work. Um, I'm sure it will. I have to remove some components here, um, like off the, uh, you know, my Dremel over here. Um, the rear sets I'm changing. I'm taking uh, rear sets from a Kawasaki ZX12R, a 2000, and I'm putting the rear sets on here, the gear shift lever and the brake and the reservoir and all that stuff, but I got to remove this little thing over here. It's uh, in the way, so, but yeah, this is basically what we got. This guy did a remarkable job on these. He built these, welded them on here for me. I'm actually going to be cutting this off and having him weld a plate in here. But he went on vacation and I asked him if I could just, you know, get the swing arm and do a mock-up on it. He also did some other welds for me too on something else. So, but anyways, uh, as soon as I get this little spring holder thing here removed off of here, uh, we can go ahead and try putting it on. See, I got to remove all this metal here cut this out I'm going to be using a bolt hole here this bolt hole here over here for the brake we're not using no longer using this this I got to modify this cut this um, and then we're going to be using the holes for here here and here will be an adapter plate for to be put on there so I can use the uh, the rear sets off the Kawasaki Ninja I'll be back. All right, guys. So here is the swing arm on here, and you can see why I'm going to have to cut this off because it's hitting the battery box. And I was just going to leave it on there and then raise the battery box up, but I'll probably have to raise it all the way up to here, which would be a, a long amount of spacers. I removed the little piece off there that's actually holding the spring to it'd be the spring to the brake light. And that's actually going to be, like I said, replaced. When I get this taken off here, I got to take that off right there. But I'm going to replace this. You know, I'm going to put the, the rear sets on here. But you can see how close that is right there. See how close? I, I don't want to leave that there. I want to cut that off. I don't want to leave that out there because that's too close. But I'm going to be using these bolt holes for an adapter plate that's going to make these uh, Kawasaki rear sets fit on here. But yeah, this is, uh, and also I got to get a spacer kit for the shocks because um, the shocks, see this one has a little bit more space up here and the guy from Texas is making me a kit for that and also sending me the spacers and then I got to get a different swing arm bolt because this one it actually sticks out too far so I'm going to use one off of an 83 Katana and I actually have those parts coming that I've ordered um, this guy that I talked to in Texas he didn't realize that I was in Oregon so yeah there was a mix up there so um, but he's getting me all the parts that I need for that and give me the information on some of the stuff that I didn't know about because um, he's built one of these before and he's actually building another one for himself so there's going to be this bike his bike and the one that they built that's in Australia but that is the aftermath that's what the the 1998 swing arm off of a 1200 bandit GFS and I've got the wheels and the tires and then um, I also got the top tree still coming I'm still waiting on the top yoke but also this here that's what my welder did he had to fix that that was completely broken 
off so he had to fix that but the jigsaw front end it, it fits right up in there the bearings are all the same it matches all up and the only thing that I don't have is I need to act the front axle off of a jigsaw I do not I have the one for a bandit but you have to use the jigsaw axle so quick video here um, I'm gonna do some more mock-ups on this thing and yeah hopefully this pans out man it's been a lot of work on me a lot of stress and stuff waiting on parts and all that good stuff so I got all these parts here so yeah I'm gonna continue uh, putting parts on sorry I didn't do show the video of cutting that little piece off there it's just hard for I'm using a GoPro Hero 3 the one that I use on my bike when I'm motor vlogging so this is the camera I got this is what I have to work with and we're working on low budget money so I'm trying to stay within budget I probably won't uh, get any parts probably for another week or two but that's just how it goes say hi to Spencer is that you bony supposed to be down here helping me work on this bike <laughs> that's my dog you know that's a good guy he's having him a good guy that's my doggy. I'm back to this anyway here's what we got I got the rear wheel on um, these are the spacers I'm telling you about you see the space back here between here and the brake and then over here so there's these certain spacers that you got to put on here that are I actually had to use my hub off my GS and it fit right on here on the bandit wheel so that's what we used we used the sprocket and the hub off of those wheels over well that rear wheel over there and this is what we ended up with so um, yeah so I need some special spacers to go back here and here that he's given me a kit for that also goes on the shock because you see the shock right here it's not sitting right it's actually like this and then the other one it's kind of in a little bit too but that's basically that's why I'm doing the mock-up and everything and that's where where the rear wheel should be sitting at least um, and then the front of course I I put the front on here but um, I don't have the front axle for the the Jix, the GSXR. I have the parts for the middle, but and then I still need the the brake calipers. So, but yeah, this is where we're sitting right now with the the mock-up on here. This is what uh, we got. I know I got a limited amount of space in here. I need to move some of this crap out of the way. I got a mess down here. Wouldn't you agree, dog? Wouldn't you agree? You don't care. He's just sitting there chewing on his bone. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm working my tail end off on it. I got um, the rear sets coming still and um, some more parts. I got the handlebars coming and then my clutch levers and stuff. And then I'm going to be ordering new one of these. They're out of stock right now because I need a new throttle thing in the inside. Somebody wiped out on it, scraped it up pretty bad. But this is what I have. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm getting some different shocks. I don't know if I'll put Olin's on it or, or what I'm going to do yet. Or YSS's or what. I um, haven't figured that out yet. And I keep going back and forth about changing, cutting this. Um, I'm still playing with the idea. Oh, and like I said... This here, the swing arm bolt, it sticks way out. You see that? The katana, the 83 katana won't stick out that far. It'll be flush like right up against there. So, I have that ordered too. Or on my list to order. Those parts I can get in like two or three days. Some of the parts I can't get because they're in the UK or in Japan. Because they don't have them here. But after I get all the mock-up and all the parts fit, like I said before, I'm going to take it back apart and it's getting painted and 
I might do the top end of the engine. I don't know. The thing ran super good. And I don't really see why, you know, to mess with, uh, you know, as far as the engines. The, the carburetors have been rebuilt and jetted. Um, I am going to clean the motor up and paint it and all that good stuff. And I ordered a new one of these here, a chain guard. So you could see what the outcome is. And basically, that's what it's going to look like. And I can't wait. I'm super excited. I think so far, so good. This shock over here, I still got to do a seal kit on it. Put new seals in it. But that's what we have, guys. Anyways, give me a thumbs up on my video. Hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And for those who are doing a rebuild on their bike or want to do this to a GS, here you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, hey guys, I'm back again. I forgot to add one more thing. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be the fender. I'm going to paint it. It'll look good. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the hit. Oh, and another thing too, also. I got a big mess in here. Please excuse the mess. Basically, this is what I'm going to be using for attack, a speedo, gear selector, fuel, all that stuff. Uh, this is actually probably the exact same one that came off the Honda Grom. Um, I wanted my bike to be a different, little different. So th this is what I'm putting on it. I'm putting the Barian blinkers and marker lights on the Barians when I get the handlebars and grips. And that's basically... That's basically it. Um, I got my rear tail here, and I might put the mount the blinkers back here somewhere. They're round, they'll be flesh, they'll look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, basically that's where I'm at. But anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a good day.